Hello to my Padawans, I'm your Jedi Master today, and welcome to Star Wars Talk. Now, in this episode of Star Wars Talk, I'm going to be talking about The Last Jedi and Episode 9. I'm going to be talking about whether The Last Jedi is going to be the darkest Star Wars film to ever be released, or if Episode 9 will even be able to precede it. So judging by the trailer, this film is going to be insanely dark. It's going to talk about Rey ha struggling to keep to uh, keep on the path that does not lead down the dark side. Because she's she's not going to become a full-on Jedi. She might become a great Jedi, but she seems to be struggling with uh, not falling to the dark side and not being uh, a dark a dark Jedi. And it seems Kylo's also struggling with letting go of his past because he there's a part of the trailer where he taught he's about to fire on the ship that Leia's on his his mother and he he's hesitating so he probably is he he's probably having trouble letting go of his past and fully f that would fully make him fall to the dark side because he knows the minute that he kills his mother, he's completely fallen. There's also the fact that Finn seems to be captured or going back to the First Order. He fights, and I, I can't say her name, so just go ahead and crucify me down in the comments. Captain Phantasma or Batsma. I can't, I can't say her name. I don't know why. And he seems to have what looks to be a Force Pike. I'm, I could be wrong, but it looks like a force pike or a uh, lightsaber staff. If you've never seen a lightsaber staff, the guardians of the Jedi Temple will usually carry them around. They're big, long. They have big, long handles and a lightsaber. It's usually yellow that comes out at the end, but it's something like that. I'm guessing more force pike because you do see the like the electrical charges uh, coming off in Captain Fan. Ca the captain, I'm not gonna even try to say her name again. The captain seems to be holding a cort probably a cortosis woven blade or something like that. Uh, and they seem to be fighting, and it just leads all this stuff to being dark. And Luke uh, says that he's only seen a power like this before, and he wasn't afraid of it. Now he is, which makes you believe that he's talking about Kylo. And he's probably going to turn away Rey as his trainee after seeing her immense power. Which is, it, that's extremely, uh, that's, that's really not the best method to do with the, in Luke's case. So it makes me wonder, what... Is this going to be the darkest Star Wars film? Or is Episode 9 going to be even darker? And Snoke is torturing Rey? That is... That's pretty malevolent. And that's pretty dark. So, I think that maybe it's possible that this would be the darkest Star Wars film. Now, obviously, Episode 9 has not been released yet. There's not been a trailer for it yet. Whenever we get a trailer for that... Who knows? It could be even darker, which would be amazing. Which is going to lead me into the next episode, which I'm going to be talking about Star Wars MP MPAA rating. So, I think I think that this could be the darkest Star Wars thus far. Uh, the previous one would probably be Revenge of the Sith. Um, because you see Anakin fall to the dark side and you see Padme get killed by Anakin and all that. It's it's a very dark uh, film. This one could be even darker than that and that would be amazing because it gives weight to the situation that the characters are in and it makes you really want to really want to see them succeed. So I I I, I don't know. Maybe it's the, maybe it's gonna be the darkest Star Wars film. Maybe it's the darkest Star Wars film thus far, and Episode Nine will be even darker, which would be even insane and amazing. So anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. It does help out a lot. Tell a friend today by my Star Wars channel. It's
pretty awesome. May the force be with you. Always.